Hey guys, so guess what? I know you guys have like been like a long awaited thing for you guys to see me like come on here and talk to you guys, but it's like I'm a busy girl. <laughs> like I have things to do. Like unlike you guys, like you guys are just fucking unemployed and fucking losers on like welfare or whatever. <laughs> but I like actually have things to do. I run like 16 businesses myself, so just cut me some slack, you know? Like I just, you know, I have a lot of things going on. But anyways, so like, I'm actually gonna come to you guys today because I'm gonna tell you guys the wildest story I ever like fucking, well it's not that wild to be honest because like, I've done wilder things. But like, this is gonna shock you guys. And not even shocking like the test results from like your mom whenever she went on Maury and she found out your dad wasn't even um your dad and like she was actually like fucking around with the janitor at the fucking uh, local hospital that she was working at and he happened to be your father he have also happened to be like 80 years old and your mom was using him for like a pension check or some shit like that not even that shocking or, like more shocking actually oh my god am i a whore probably but anyways this is a story about a time that i got two trains run on me Two trains, one night. Two trains, one girl. All aboard the Georgia Express. So grab your perks, grab your Casamigos, or I should say Cheetos, and you guys' um, instance because you guys are like four, so that just makes a lot of more sense. Like, you guys can't even afford Casa, like fucking broke ass bitches. Um, anyway, sorry. Um, yeah so grab whatever you can like your snacks you fat fucking bitch um and we're gonna get this party started because one thing about it is a wild ride so this how it happened like april of last year um it was a my birthday i'm actually in april gemini my birthday is april 22nd so if you guys are like wondering about that or you guys are just looking for someone to worship and like send gifts to whatever my birthday is april 22nd i'm april gemini period people always give gemini's a bad rep but like i promise we're not that bad like we're not but anyways yeah so like basically it was around my birthday it was april i literally like woke up one day it wasn't on my birthday because i have like things to do i think i was in like milan last year but it was like before my birthday so like i'm at poppy as usual like getting my life getting turned up and i get a phone call from charlie pooth and I know that's like so crazy for you guys to hear because you guys like this is a celebrity man like why would a celebrity man be calling you but that's because I am a celebrity like I don't like people get that confused like clearly I'm a celebrity girl but that's a celebrity girl like why wouldn't a celebrity be calling me fucking idiot anyways Charlie Puth called me and he's like what are you doing right now and I was like oh I'm at Poppy right now just like chilling with my girls as huge and I was like can I come out and see you and I was like yeah sure like I, I don't have anyone here with me right now, just the girl. So if you want to come out, come out. He was like, well, um, the last time you um, like said you're gonna come, like you said you wanted me to come out. I like came out and you were not there. I said, well, I'm always on the move. Like I'm here, I'm there, I'm here, I'm there. I'm a busy girl. Like I've been staying like this whole entire entire time. Like I have things to do. Like people to see, be people to be seen by. Like I'm moving, I'm hopping, I'm moving, I'm hopping. So like he's like, okay, well I'm gonna come to Poppy, so don't leave. I'm like, whatever, Charlie, okay. So I'm there with my girls, just chilling, and uh, the waiter comes over or bartender, whatever the fuck you call them. Like I don't care about service workers, so I don't bother to learn their title. So like he comes over and he's like, can I get you guys something? And I'm like, oh my god, are you guys still serving like um chicken wings? And then he's like, yeah. And I'm like, well, it's not for me because like I'm like, I don't really eat like that. I'm just not that big of a fucking fat bitch. You know, who's the fuck is eating like at 2 a.m. at the club? It was for my friend. And um, it was like, he was like, what what like kind does she want? I'm like, what kind does she want? What kind does she want? And she, I think she wants like lemon pepper, like like a 15 piece lemon pepper and like um, a large fry so with like two ranches yeah that's what she told me she told me that i didn't i didn't want that at all like that's disgusting and then he's like yeah okay i'll go get it and i'm like okay for sure whatever so i'm taking shots taking shots and then someone walks by and i get like a whiff of them and i'm like 
oh my god that smells so familiar that smells so familiar like who like who what whose cologne is that like i was like what is that and then it was like i looked up and i saw this like tall skinny lanky guy he had like brown hair curly i'm like dazed at this point like my vision is blurry so i'm like like i literally can barely see so i'm like scanning up and down this person he has glasses on so i really can't tell he comes closer to the section and the bodyguards are like no bitch what are you doing like you can't just come to someone's section and he takes the glasses down like this he's like it's me and like oh my god it's tim it's timothy chalamet and i'm like he's so crazy like why would he just pop up on me like that like i'm not even looking my best well i'm like i'm always looking my best every time i go out because like why would i not be um anyway so like he comes over he gets into the section he sits next to me and then he's like whispering in my ear like telling me how much he missed me i'm like i miss you too i miss you too a lot and i was like where have you been and he's like oh well i was just shooting this movie and i'm like well you could have let me know like i've been texting you you haven't responded and that's like kind of rude you know and he's like yeah well i'm here now what are we gonna do about it and he put his hand on my thigh and let me tell you like instantly i'm wet instantly the panties are gone if i even had panties on and wear panties like that but i'm like literally so like, wet at that point i'm like god and this guy is so fucking hot and like i can feel his like breath on my neck and i'm like like are you gonna come like right then and there i'm like oh man he's so hot and so he starts like kissing on my neck and i'm like i'm bonding a little like now nah. And then I'm like, oh, this is so crazy. Like, what's going on? My friends was just looking at me and laughing. One of them's recording and putting on her Snapchat or whatever. And so, like, um, he's like, do you want to take this party somewhere else? And I'm like, yeah, let's go to the bathroom. So we go to the bathroom. And, like, we get into the bathroom. And there's, like, a couple stalls in there. Um, it's the women's bathroom. So, you know, it's, like, super packed in there. But the second I walk in there, I'm like, girls like move like literally move like i have something to do like i'm that girl like let me through and they like literally part like the red sea because i'm that girl like no you're gonna move out of my way when i'm coming in like the fuck like i'll just get my security like to kick you out if not um so like we go to like the big stall in the back and like um he just like like sits on the toilet and then i like straddle him and well i think it's getting like a little too like explicit but if you guys can like understand like what happened like it got wet it got hot it got steamy there's girls like literally like in the back like talking and giggling and like recording over the stall and i'm like i don't give a fuck like this is literally going on my only fans and so i was like girls like send me that footage send me that footage because I, I need that footage and they're like okay sure girl and then like okay so he's done because he come oh he like <laughs> he like <laughs> um finish it in like two minutes because one thing about me is i may be like a very like loose girl i may be like free with my body but like i'm not like loose physically like i had vaginal rejuvenation surgery like six times so it's very tight down there so like when he was getting this good like a rep it was like giving you know it was giving what it's supposed to get so i'm like literally like done with him in the two seconds and i'm like oh, where's mine he's like where's my what he's like where's your what and i'm like get the fuck out tim tim get the fuck out so he leaves i you know, finish off i'm like i finish up and i'm like oh my god this is so crazy like what am i doing i put my little dress down was wearing like a black Givenchy dress like off the shoulder i had like um a black choker on and um black shades and my hair was like blonde and i had like blonde brows and like a very smoky eye and i had my black christian louis hans on i was so to that night um i was just feeling like a little like dark and mysterious mood you know it was crazy so I walk out of the like dressing, whatever the fuck you call it, like the, the stall and he's nowhere to be found. There's a couple girls in there just giggling and laughing and I just like put my glasses on, just my hair a little bit like that in the mirror, wipe off the, I mean, wipe off the like whatever the hell and just walk out like just the bad bitch that I am. I walk back to my section. I walk back to my section and guess who's there? 
and I'm like, oh my god, hey Char, I'm so glad you made it. I give him a little, little side hug, and then he like kisses me on the cheek, like two cheeks, like that. Very French, very like very European. And I'm like, he's not even European. He's literally from fucking Milwaukee or something. Like, what does he think he is? In my head, I didn't say it out loud. Um, because she's kind of sensitive, like, a little weirdo, but like hot though, like hot as fuck. Um, anyway, so like he sits down next to me. And then he's like, how's your night going? I'm like, it's going great. I'm like a little like tossed. Like I'm tossed as fuck right now. And then he's like, well, um, like, can I get you like a drink? Can I get you like, like, what do you want? And I'm like, do you have blow? Do you have blow? And then he's like, no. And I'm like, why'd you come? Like in my head, I said like, why'd you come? Like, like I've been drinking this entire night and you like something else. And then he's like, well, I can like go try to find you and get you like try to find you some. Like there's plenty of like in like, like sketchy people in the club i'm like sure like go find me some so i'm there with the girls and then like the other girl come one of my friends um i don't know if i should say her name but like i'm gonna say it anyways fuck it emma chamberlain <laughs> like my friend em <laughs> she's like uh, she's like girl like um timothy was literally like standing right there watching you guys the entire time and i was like are you kidding like they don't really know about each other like that and so like timothy was just i look up and i see timothy like like eyeing me from the corner and i'm like oh my god this is so embarrassing so i'm looking i'm looking at charlie he's looking around he's like walking he's walking he's like looking like whispering people's ear asking people shit whatever obviously asking for love and so like um timothy goes like this to me i'm like what does he think i'm a fucking dog he goes like that i'm like I just ignore him, pretend like he's not there. I take another shot of Casamigos. And I'm like scrolling through my phone. And then like I look through my phone and I see a DM pop up. And it's from none other than Drake. Like literally Champagne Poppy is fucking texting me. Or like, fucking DMing me. And I'm like, what the fuck do you want? You're a fucking loser. Like stop fucking texting me. He's like, I can't stop thinking about you. And I'm like, that was two years ago. Like get over it. Like you're fucking annoying. Like you're annoying the fuck out of me right now, honestly. And then he's like, well, I don't know. What are you doing tonight? And I'm like, none of your business. Please stop texting me. Please stop calling me. I literally blocked you for a reason. Like, how are you here? Like, what the fuck is this? And he's like, you don't have connects. I'm like, what is that? I'm going to literally, like, file a restraining order because you're fucking weird. So I blocked that account and, like, got off my phone. By that time, Charlie Puth is walking back up. I don't know why I'm saying their full names. Like, I'm literally going to get, like, subpoenaed or something or whatever. So Charlie walks back up and like he sits back down to me. He's like, I got what you need. And then like he comes like closer to my mouth and he starts making out with me. And I feel like a little ball. I feel like a little ball under his tongue and I like scoop it up like that with my tongue. And then I feel it like dissolve into like powder form. And I was like, oh, this is so fucking hot. So like literally just like in like uh, whatever. Like I'm sure you can guess like what, what it was like under his tongue. And then I'm like, that was so hot. And he's like, yeah. And then he's like, so what are you doing after this? And I'm like, well, there is that party at um, Chris's. I'm not going to say the last thing because, like, fuck no. Um, and then he's like, well, um, can I come with you? And I was like, I don't think so because it's, like, um, like exclusive, like, um, invite all me, to be honest. And I already, like, have, like, my plus one coming and, like, my girls are coming. And then he's like, well, what are you doing after that? And I'm like, um, not much, to be honest. Like, I'm going to go back home probably at, like, 6 a.m. And, like, be fucking, like, black the fuck out. And then he's like, well, can I see you then? And I was like, yeah, sure, whatever. I don't care. So, like, um, we stay there for, like, another 45 minutes. Just talking. Me and Charlie just talk. And then I, I can still see, like, Timothy, like, eyeing me from the corner. Like, being a little fucking skis. And so I'm like, okay, Char, like, I have to go, like, the suburbans here. Um, and so we get in the suburb, me and the girls, and, like, um, Charlie says goodnight, like, let me know, text me, and he kisses me on the cheek, and I say bye, Char, and I get in the car. And I'm talking to the girls, I'm like, he's such a fucking munch, like, he's already the munchiest munch of them all, like, whatever. And then, um, we get to Chris's house, and... Let me just say it's like a fucking shit show. It's literally like a zoo in there. There's like so many like black people. Like I know I'm black, but it's like God. Like they're everywhere. Like animals. Like fuck. They're kind of annoying to be honest. Like 
what are they doing like but i'm like whatever my girls want to come so i'm like literally they're way in so i get them in and i'm like there and like i'm just like just chilling like taking more shots smoking a little yeah, like just doing my big one like honestly like every time i go out like i really do the biggest one like i'm surprised i haven't like passed out right now like uh, you know what but whatever i don't know like the fast die young period the fast die young bad girls do it well and then the baddest girl but anyway so we're there and then i see like fucking carisha and jontavia so I'm like, girl, like, how have you guys been? Like, I haven't seen you guys in a long time. It's been a little while. They're like, uh, was it like, you know, just talking, like, really ghetto. Like, they're so ghetto. Um, but I'm like, <laughs> just talking to them. And I'm like, hey, girl, like, what, what, like, what's it getting? Like, what are you guys doing tonight? And they're like, well, we're going to peace tonight. Um, and I just kept my mouth shut because we all know my history with peace. So, and not P, the fucking record label guy, like, P. Diddy. Um, we only fuck with billionaires here or millionaires here, sorry. Um, but anyways, so like we're just there, like we're just talking, chopping it up, and then guess who walks by and comes straight to the table and like comes right up to me, like doesn't even say hi to GZ, doesn't even say hi to Carisha, like he literally comes straight up to me. Fucking Enrique and I've had the biggest crush on him since like I was like 14 like I haven't tried to get on him since then but like like whatever he doesn't want to talk to my nurse like <laughs> and I just like you're so crazy like just like talk to me so he comes up to me he's like hey I haven't seen you in a little while like how's your dad and I'm like well I want to talk about my dad let's talk about you and I he's like what's that supposed to mean I'm like you know exactly what it means like you know exactly what I want from you and then he was like, I can guess. And I was like, yeah, sure. And then he's like, come talk to me over here. So we just like, I get up and I go like with him like closer to the bathrooms. And then he's like, so like, what are you like getting up to tonight? And I'm like, um, not much, just here. Honestly, I'm about to leave because this party is lame as hell. Um, he's like, yeah, me too. I'm only here like looking for like a girl like tonight and I'm like, well, you can just like call them over to your house. You look at Enrique Iglesias, like the fuck? And then he's like, yeah, well, like, um, I, my phone doesn't work. I'm like, you're a fucking liar. Like, you're so fucking old and washed up. Like, that's why you couldn't get me one. But let me tell you this. I like him old. <laughs> and he's like, so what are you, like, what, you, what are you trying to get up to tonight? And I'm like, I think you know exactly what I'm trying to get up to. He's like, well, let's go back to yours. And I'm like, well, let's go. So we go back to, like, we get in the burb. I kiss mm -mm -mm -mm, to the sweet girls. And get in the burb, we, and then we get me and Enrique get in the burb. And then we're headed back to my apartment. My apartment, what the fuck? I, like thinking I'm in Miami. I don't have an apartment here. I literally live in LA. Oh my god, it's so dumb. So we go back to my house, my mansion, my uh, multi million dollar mansion that's here in LA. And like we like are on the way, he's like kissing my neck, like whispering in my ear, telling me like sweet nothings, like rubbing up on my leg, like a finger in my clit. And I'm like, oh my god, like this is getting wild. Like I can literally see the we driver like I'm like, this is the wildest night of my life, to be honest with you. It's good, it's gotten wilder, honestly. So, like, when we finally pull up, like, I'm, like, judging my fucking dress back down, and he's, like, zipping his pants back up, and he's, like, hard as a rock, girl. I'm, like, oh, my God, it's just, like, so hot. So, we start to walk back into my house. We walk into the house, and I go to the front door, and who is there? Charlie. I'm like, I never told you I was coming home. Like, how did you know I was here? And he's like, I've been waiting here since like 3 a.m. And I was like, it's 36 a.m. Like, you've been waiting for three hours? He's like, yeah, well, like, you told me to come after. I said, like, yeah, after, not like come after the club and stay and wait outside my house. How did you even get past security? He's like, well, your security guards let me in. I just gave him a free fucking donut. I'm like, you fucking fat bitch. Like, I need to hire new security. Why would I hire fat security? Like, all they want to do is eat. Like, of course they can be bribed. Like, I'm so dumb for that. So I'm like, whatever. And then Enrique is like, who's this? And I'm like, it's Charlie. And then he's like, you've never heard of me before? And Enrique's like, no. And I'm like, well, he's like 50, so why would he have heard of you? 
and then like they just like introduce themselves and, like they start talking and i'm like what is this like grinder but like uh, i'm like not judging though like i like literally like love the homosexuals like you guys are so like honestly like hot like whatever like i'm just into that kind of thing don't judge me so they're talking i'm like let's just go inside it's kind of cold because i'm like so skinny <laughs> like i like literally like anemic or something like that's how skinny i am is like we walk into the house and like they go sit on the couch and i go into the kitchen so I'm, like i need a shot i need a shot i need a shot i need a shot this is like gonna get wild so like they're they're like talking on the couch and i'm like in the kitchen like literally like pounding the shots back pounding the shots back so i'm like i need something to get me through this night and so like they're like what are you doing over there and i'm like take the shots if you guys want one and they're like no we're already like pretty hammered and I'm, like whatever and they're like come over why are you still over there why are you sitting over there so i'm like what is this like it's like what are they trying to do but like you know i'm down because i'm just that kind of girl it's still like I go over and I sit in between them and like um I look in Enrique in the eyes and he's like so um like what are, what are, what are you gonna what are we gonna do now? And I was like, Well, what do you guys wanna do? And then I look back at Charlie and Charlie's just looking at me with those big like hazel eyes, just like like looking stupid, like a fucking doe eyed fucking deer in the headlights, you know? Um, but you know, that's kind of like what I like about him. He's just like so like innocent looking, but like, let me tell you what he does in the bedroom. It's not innocent at all. Like whatsoever. It's kind of like crazy, like the switch, like just flips like that. So whenever, as I'm looking at him, he's looking at me. He's just like starting making out with me. I'm like, literally like kissing. We're like, <laughs> there's a lot of tongue. And then I feel like my head on my thigh again, like rubbing up my thigh, like caressing my boob. And like, oh my God, this is getting wild. And so, like, I feel like the hand, like, do that to my dress. Um, even though I just said I was wearing a strapless dress earlier in the story. But I was checking, I was checking you guys to see, like, if you guys are listening. That's what it was. It was not like I made any of this up or nothing. I was checking. And so, yeah, I just feel like the hand, like, go into my bra and, like, fit on my, like, nipple. Oh, my, oh my God, this is crazy. Meanwhile, I'm still making out with um charlie charlie's just like moaning into my mouth and i'm like moaning into his and then i feel like enrique oh enrique like hit my mind like, grab my chin like pull me towards his direction and we start making out and then i feel charlie's like hands like on my like dream. and then i like literally just like take both my hands because they're free and i just start like undoing like their pants and i'm like undoing their pants and like whatever so i'm a pro like i can do it with one hand like i'm just that kind of girl so I'm like unzipping, unzipping and pulling out things. I'm like, <laughs> it's been very much like shake weight. Like it was giving shake weight. Like the girls were like shut. They were like sh they were like just moaning in my ear, like breathing heavy. And I'm like, oh my god, I'm like that. I'm really that girl. Like I'm really that girl. And then they're like, let's take this up to the bedroom. And I'm like, yeah, sure. I was like, which one? Cause she you know, I have like so many rooms in my house. So I'm like, literally, which one? And they're like, whichever one's closer. Like, I'm about to fucking pass. I'm like, you guys are crazy. And so like, as we're like getting up, I get a phone call. And I, get, I answer the phone call and it's like, fucking Timothy. And I'm like, oh my God, I look at the phone. I'm like, it's Timothy, it's Timothy, it's Timothy. Like, what do I do? They're walking in front of me, like looking at each other longingly and like they started making you don't tell anybody that though because like i don't want to get beat up or anything because you know how guys are about like they're masculine but they're making out like, like rubbing and touching and like, whatever um it's the hottest out. but um hey and i'm like should i answer so i answer and i'm like hey what's up and then he's like what are you doing and i'm like um nothing just here with some friends and he's like can i come over and i'm like um I'm not sure like would you I don't know if you like want to hang out with like these friends he's like who is it and I'm like uh Charlie and Enrique and he's like well I mean I'm down if you're down and I was like fuck and like this is the kind of shit I like like this is like the freaky like the freak nasty like I'm pretty sure Megan Thee Stallion made that song about me because wait what am I talking about I wrote that like I literally wrote that song what am I I'm literally like I need to stop doing the part like this is driving me crazy and so like i'm like yeah fucking come like that's hot 
And so, like, um, um, they're like, what are you doing? What are you doing back there? I'm like, who are you talking to? They're like, who are you talking to? I'm like, no one. I hang up. I put my phone, like, um, in my bra. Not a bra, but, like, you know what the fuck I'm talking about. I don't wear bras, but I put it in here. Um, so, like, I put that in there. We're walking, and, like, we get into the room. And then, like, Charlie pushes me on the bed like that. He's like, you like that, huh? And I'm like, oh, my God. Like, this is crazy. And he literally starts, like, he's like an animal. He, like, jumps on top of me and starts, like, ripping my clothes off. And Ricky's just there, like, doing his thing, like, watching and I'm like, this is like so hot. And I'm like, Alexa, turn on mood lights, turn on um, fucking Beyonce, speechless. Cause you know, I like to set the mood. Like I'm a very like mood setting kind of girl. It's so like, that's like going on. That's we're like hustling, rustling, tussling, breathing heavy, sucking and fucking on the bedroom. I mean on the bed and then like, um, I hear like my, my um, butler knock on the door. And I'm like, what is it? And they're like, he's like, um, Mr. Chalamet's at the door. And I'm like, well, let him in, you fucking idiot. Like, why are you telling me? Like, clearly he's an invited guest. Like, just fucking open the door. You're such an idiot. And so, like, he opens the door. And, like, um, Timothy walks in. Mind you, he's, like, wearing, like, leather pants. No shirt. And, like, some, like, kind of, like, I don't know, like, fucking Christian Louis Vuitton, like, um, slides. I think he just came from an award show or something. But, like, he came in. He, like, didn't waste any time. Like, he just joined in with Charlie. And, you know, Enrique's still, like, in the back trying to get it up with his old ass. I'm like, what the fuck? This is embarrassing. Like, just go home at this point. But eventually he did, like, get it up after he saw, like, Charlie and Timothy doing what they were doing. I'm gonna tell you right now, there was insertion. There was insertion and it was Highly, the mo I mean, I'm sorry, but I don't mean to get like into detail like that. But I'm just letting you know what happened. So Charlie and um, Timothy were doing what they were doing in the bed. I walked over to Enrique, and I'm like, um, and still in my heels, but nothing else. Still in the heels and nothing else. Mind you, remember I have like blonde, like long hair, straight long hair, fierce eye, a fierce eye. I was so fierce. And a fucking blonde, brown blow, brown and a fucking. I'm sorry, I'm dumb. And a fucking blonde brown. And so like, I'm just like giving very much like Donatella Versace, but like, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to go there. Um, just giving very much like Countess from like American Horror Story, Lady Gaga. And so I just like slowly get down, like on my knees, and I start. <laughs> Like, do what I do, you know? Do what I do. Mind you, this is all being recorded for my OnlyFans. So, if you guys do want to see that, it's literally on my OnlyFans. Like, different angles, like, all up my... Like, it's there. And so, like, I'm, like, fucking up. Okay, okay. He's, like, moaning. Like, he's, like, screaming at that point. Like, he's yelling. I'm, like, oh, my God. Like, my neighbors are going to think we're getting murdered over here. And so, like, they're, like, can you guys, like, come over, like, come over to the bed? And, like, we get all, like, get on the bed. Like, they're all, all three of them are laying down, like, or their hands like that. And, like, they're just there. And I'm, like, <laughs> and then just, like, you just know what I'm talking about. I'm, like, like <laughs> and I'm, like, <laughs> and then it's, like, um, I was doing that. And then I feel, like, um, Charlie like lifts me up because he's the one who I was like, like give me that god god man god god and then he like lifts me up towards him and like puts me like on it like just like like that like on my waist my tiny 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 little waist like literally just like picks me up on my waist like that actually no other way like 120 pounds so it's like it wasn't that hard for him even though he's like tiny tiny and scrawny and so like he lifts me up and then he like puts me on top of him and just starts like like hammering my shit. I'm just like, oh my god, this is like crazy. And while he's doing that, I'm like this the entire time. Like, and it's getting wild and crazy. And so they're like, get on your get on all fours. It's so like I get on all fours. Um Timothy is like on the bed, like on his back. Um, that go walk. 
and then Enrique's behind me. And so is Charlie. And I think you guys know what both of them were doing back there. Because there is two places back there that can be occupied at the same time. And even one, but we're not going to go there. And so, like, literally, like, they're, like, pound, like, one in the pink, two in the pink, one in the pink, one in the pink, one in the pink, one in the pink. And, uh, like, literally every orifice in my body is, like, occupied. And I'm like, this is a dream. Like, I literally died and gone to heaven. Like, this is crazy. And so, like, they're just, like, demolishing me. I'm like, oh, my God. Like, yeah, it was so crazy. And I know this is kind of crazy, like, to be sharing on the internet. But, like, you guys have heard worse. Like, honestly, you guys have heard worse from me alone. Like, this is not shocking to you guys. You guys have heard me say worse things. And so, like, yeah, they're back there. Um, my job on the bird. Like, I'm on the pill. Like, I literally have, like, I don't even on the pill. Like, I have, like, um... What are those things called? Not a UTI. I, I do have a UTI, but like, it's not a UTI. I don't know what it is, honestly. Like, the doctor just recommended to me because she was like, you're a fucking, like, whore. So you need, like, something to prevent pregnancy. And so, like, they put that little thing up there. I forget what it's called, whatever. I'm, like, drunk right now. Leave me alone. So, like, they finally, like, put it in there. I'm, like, I mean, like, they're, like, pounding the fuck out of me. And, like... Um, and he come, he come, and I'm like, oh my god, like, I can literally feel, like, the warmthness, like, inside me, and then it just, like, oozes out, oh, I'm sorry, that's getting a little graphic, and then so does Charlie, because he, like, like, got, he just, like, he just, like, like, it's, like, contagious at that point, like, they're all just, like, coming, they're coming, they're coming, they're coming, they're coming, like, literally everywhere, and mind you, the whole time, I have been squirting everywhere, like, everywhere it's like literally like a water slip and slide around here like it um, like one thing about me is i'm gonna get mine and i have a very like um hypersensitive libido i mean hypersensitive clip and so like and my libido is super high so like i'm gonna come this entire time and then like they're all coming they're coming they're coming and they're like um they're finishing and i'm like oh my god this is crazy like i need a cigarette i need a fucking like i need like we need something like a perk is like that was so crazy and then they're like round two and i'm like of course we're doing round two like of course we are like the fuck you thought it was a big a basic ass bitch of course we're doing round two we're doing round three we're doing round four we're doing round seven at that point so we're going like almost like all morning not even night because you know it was like already six o'clock when we got home and then I'm like, at this point, like, I'm dried up. It's like, it's getting, like, kind of hard. I mean, like, it's getting hard for them to, like, you know. And so, like, and they're like, okay, well, this is, like, this has been, like, so much fun. Like, we should really do this again. And I'm like, yeah, sure. Fucking losers. And then, like, um, they're all walking out of their house. And I'm like, yeah, so you guys just let me know, like, what you guys are getting up to. Because, like, I'm, like, so, like, so into this. Like, this is so great. So they're all standing, like, all three of them are standing outside of the threshold. And I'm like, oh, just so you guys know that, like, I was recording that entire thing. And it will be going on my only hands. And they're, like, looking so dumbfounded. They're like, what? I slammed the door. And I'm like, I don't even have time for your bullshit. I smell it and I lock the door. I don't even care. Like, you decided to come to my house. Like, you literally have to sign an NDA before you walk into my house. But what they didn't know is they also signed a couple other things giving me license to, like, literally release this footage. But they were so hot and heavy that they didn't even fucking realize. So, like, I have that footage on my OnlyFans. If you guys want to see that, I literally just like knocked the fuck out after that. It was such a crazy time, like, and I've had like so many other wild nights like that. Like that doesn't even like cap, like that's not even like scratching the surface of what the kind of shit that I get into. So like, if you guys would like to hear more stories about like the wild like LA nights or like even me in like Dubai, me honestly everywhere because I literally almost go everywhere. Me getting like pushed into a wall and like discriminated against by like a sugar daddy in dallas like that was crazy like i have so many stories so if you guys like want to know like like the crazy times of my life just like let me know like i'm not afraid to like share you know like d d like what i gonna say like i'm not afraid to share like um 
delicate details of my life because i just feel like that's how life should be you know i'm just an open book an open legs open which you know open mouth but anyways that's another story for another time so like thank you guys for listening and if you guys want to hear more let me know um shop she by she .com. i have hair i have clothes i have accessories like i have it all to be honest shop she by she um and that's it so like have a great night guys and like have like a boring like useless life like you guys usually do like and i hope that this story time give gave you guys a glimpse of what life really should be like because you know most of you guys are like working at nine to five like being a loser all the time you know like that's kind of like embarrassing it's tiring i'm sure so you're welcome honestly you're welcome bitch <laughs>